what is good youtube welcome back for another banger on this channel we discuss everything cryptocurrency and investing and without further ado let's get into the video so the question everyone's wondering why did bitcoin dip well first of all guys calm down calm down calm down yeah calm down guys we're in a bull market We've had a parabolic rise for the past couple of weeks and months from about 10,000 to 42,000 without any sort of corrections. If you're new to the cryptocurrency space or new to the cryptocurrency market, these kind of pullbacks are normal. If you look back in 2013, we had dips of over the 20, 25 to 30% on the way to the top. In 2017, this was exactly the same case. Dips of just over 30% as we made that move to $20,000, guys. What goes up must come down. And this is actually very, very healthy for Bitcoin to take dips and consolidate and find resistance and support. So calm down, guys. Now, why did Bitcoin dip? There's a few reasons that I found in doing my research and the main reason for the dip besides us being in an over exuberant market and Bitcoin being extremely hot right now is miners. Yes, Bitcoin miners have been sitting on a stack of Bitcoin and holding their Bitcoin for an awfully long time and they have decided to take profits. This graph indicates the miners position index. So it's essentially the ratio of total minor outflows in US terms divided by the 365 day moving average of the outflows in dollar terms. So that rose to 2.20 on Sunday, the highest level since 2019 in July. So any figure above 2.0 indicates that miners are selling their Bitcoin. So as you can see, if I just scroll down, you can see between the whole of 2020, essentially, this has been below 1.3 and miners have been holding their Bitcoin. And as Bitcoin's price started to rise, miners sold a little bit and then there was a decline in selling, a lack of selling pressure from the miners. And as Bitcoin has hit that 38, 40K, a massive rise in minor selling essentially guys miners were holding their bitcoin as the price was rising um waiting to sell at a later date to locking humongous gains and rightly too so they deserve it they're securing their network keeping bitcoin safe keeping the network strong it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> another reason as to why bitcoin may have dropped is just due to whales guys be careful white be careful guys don't get swallowed up by whales these dips are natural and there's whales out there looking to accumulate mass amounts of bitcoin to shake you out shake us little guys out and accumulate your bitcoin scott minard who's scott minard um you know we uh we are not yet effective uh with the sec so you know we're still waiting uh, of course, uh, we made the decision to start allocating toward Bitcoin uh, when Bitcoin was at 10,000. Um, it's, it's a little more challenging uh, with the current price closer to 20,000. Uh, amazing, you know, over a very short period of time how big of a run up we've had. Um, but having said that, uh, our, our fundamental work shows that Bitcoin uh, should be worth about $400,000. He's a chief investment officer at Guggenheim Investment Partners. The same guy who said Bitcoin should be worth $400,000 right now, just said Bitcoin's parabolic rise is unsustainable in the near term. Vulnerable to a setback, the target technical upside of 35,000 has been exceeded. Take time to take some money off of the table. In the cryptocurrency market, we call this FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, doubts. I don't really like this. I don't really like the term, but hey, we use it in cryptocurrency. And essentially, 
a lot of people are saying this has contributed to the FUD. Um, this guy's word holds weight and Guggenheim Investment Trust have around $230 billion in assets managed. And if you go and look at the SEC filing, which is actually very, very interesting, as you can see, the Guggenheim Macro Opportunities Fund may seek investment exposure to Bitcoin indirectly through investing up to 10% in its net asset value in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So they're planning to buy up to 10% of their assets. They're planning to allocate up to 10% of their assets in Bitcoin. This isn't going to be five, five million dollars, guys. Ten million dollars, twenty million dollars, fifty million dollars, a hundred million dollars. This is going to most likely be in the billions. We're talking about mega, mega, mega wells here. So this guy and his firm obviously have an advantage to gain and an incentive to drive the price of Bitcoin down. So his little tweet may not have been the cause of the dip but it definitely may have added to the FUD and the retail sellers like myself and yourself selling the Bitcoin. I've had a lot of friends and family who've just got into the cryptocurrency space very recently text me, message me this morning asking me should I sell my Bitcoin? Bitcoin's dropping, the sky is falling. It's people like that that would see this sell the Bitcoin and further drive prices down. Be careful because it's wells like this that will gobble up your Bitcoin. Also very, very interesting is that, well, let me see if I can find it. T1. So in just about two weeks time, this will become effective. So you can see it will be in the best interests of Guggenheim and Scott Minard for the price of Bitcoin to be as low as possible when this becomes effective because it means more Bitcoin for the whales. Guys, pay attention. The fundamentals haven't changed. As you can see, Grayscale, the largest Bitcoin trust fund, is seeing, is seeing interest from Endowments and pensions. Pensions are the most, the most, the most cautious investment funds on the planet. They're looking after the assets of elderly, people in their plus 40s, 50s, baby boomers. And they're pouring into Bitcoin, guys. They're pouring into Bitcoin. Pay attention. Morgan Stanley, one of the biggest banks in the world, or by a micro strategy who recently just poured all of their cash reserves into Bitcoin guys. This is acting as a Bitcoin ETF and they now own just on they now own just under 11 percent. Watch where the smart money is going guys and read between the lines. Do not get shaken out. I am not a financial advisor I'm gonna advise I can't tell you if you should buy or sell. That's up to you. I'm just here to present the information. I'm buying more, I'm buying the dip, and I bought the dip aggressively. I had all this filled around the 31, 32 dollar mark, and I'm still going to. I had all this filled around the 32, 33 thousand dollar mark. Um, I always have orders in place just in case Bitcoin dips, and I could hopefully catch it, and I did. So, very, very grateful. Another potential reason for the dip. So when you factor in miners are selling to take profits off of the table, the likes of Scott Maynard, Bitcoin Wells, saying Bitcoin is overbought. Then you've got, in, and then you have individuals, retail buyers, like myself, yourself, everyone who's jumping into the game right now, selling their Bitcoin, further driving prices down. You normally would need institutional investors, big players who've been driving this price rally so far, buying up Bitcoin, buying up the Bitcoin. But as you can see, Grayscale Trust, which is the biggest Bitcoin trust, the largest holder of Bitcoin, they, own, they hold over 3% of Bitcoin in circulation. They haven't actually made any additional purchases into their trust since around 
the 24th of December guys they have not made any major purchases and at the time Bitcoin was around $24,000 so it appears that this current rally from over $24,000 was driven by retail investors all the new people coming into the space and as you can see this probably holds some weight. If you look at the Google Trends for the term Bitcoin, you can see the peak in December 2017, the last time Bitcoin hit 20,000. And as you can see in December, January, it's peaking again, 68% of what it once was. If you also look at the search term for buy Bitcoin, you can see this whole year, while it's in this whole year while institutions were buying up Bitcoin and the price remained low, retail was sleeping. And now your cousin, your uncle, your brother, your work colleagues who were saying, how do you buy Bitcoin? How do you buy Bitcoin? How do you buy Bitcoin? They're now coming in and that was what was driving the rally. So with the institutional investors taking their foot off the pedal, retail coming in miners selling there hasn't been anyone to essentially buy up and maintain these prices so that's about it guys i just wanted to really hone in that dips are normal guys they're normal they happen every single market cycle in 2017 up to 30 percent again in 2013 they're normal if you're new to the space please don't panic stay calm what goes up must come down gold is up 18 percent year on year the s p 16 percent bitcoin 285 percent guys calm down and zoom out as i said there's always going to be dips. Bitcoin is the most volatile of all those assets, so you can't expect 20% gains, 15% gains in a day without a little dip. So chill, man. Anyway, I hope you guys felt informed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps push the channel out to more people. Send this to your friends. Help a bro out. I'm just a guy with two subscribers, guys. Love you all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Show.